were here. Was this a village? What happened to it? The demons Jeeple summoned? They've moved faster than we hoped. Miriam, we have to hurry. This was where we were supposed to meet our contact. All right. But wait. Let me clear the area. There are still demons about. Thank you, Miriam. You know who I am. And that means... I'm sorry we couldn't get here sooner, Dominique. So this is our contact. Yes, the church sent me. An exorcist. And we're lucky to have you, Dominique. And the church you, Miriam. Thank you for guiding her here, Johannes. You wouldn't have asked if it wasn't important. But you should tell us why you need her. But she deserves to be armed with all the facts. Yes, very well. I told you when I contacted you that the Shardbinder Jebel is responsible for summoning the castle. Yes, there's no mistake about that. He admitted as much. What? You spoke to him? Then let me get right to the point. I find it curious that the outpouring of demons, facilitated by one Shardbinder, just happens to coincide with the sudden awakening of the other Shardbinder, after exactly ten years. You're right, it is strange. But the Church doesn't get to drag Miriam into this just because the timing is odd. Oh, do you decide for her then? I asked you to bring her here so she could see the horrors that have befallen the village, and make an informed choice. I have no intention of forcing you, Miriam. You don't have to. I gave Jebel my word that I would stop him. What happened here only strengthens my resolve. Thank you, Miriam. I am sorry to put it on your shoulders. Um, pardon me? Oh, hello there. Are you all right? We didn't mean to ignore you. I'm all right, thank you. You are quite welcome. Do you have a name? Anne. What a lovely name. Anne, you shouldn't be out here. Let me take you somewhere safe. Oh, all right. Come on, this way. I did some looking around before, and this place seems secure. Yes, agreed. Johannes, you, Anne, and I will remain here. We can assist Miriam from safe ground. What? We can't ask her to brave the castle alone? Don't be foolish. She is trained in combat. Are you? We would only get in the way. But that's not the point. I'll be fine, Johannes. Please don't worry. <sighs> All right. But we'll be here if you need us. 
Let's not waste any time. We have a lot to do. Come back if you need anything. I'll get a workshop running so I can perform alchemy for you. Thank you, Johannes. I know you're strong, but be careful. <laughs> I will. Ah, here she is. You have to marvel at the church's resources. Look at what they've provided for us. I know, it's incredible. So, what I can do for you here in the workshop is take materials you bring me and transmute them into new items. But the alchemy is easier to show you than explain. Here, I have some materials we can use. So let's try transmuting them. So, what'll it be? Ooh, I like it. Once I've transmuted an item, I'll pass it on to Dominique so she can carry it at the supply post for you. I'll do my best to inform you of what items you can make from what materials. But when it comes to items I don't know about, you'll have to find a formula for me and bring it here. I understand. Also, the demon crystal you've obtained, the shards, those can be transmuted the same way as items. Each shard requires specific materials, but it's worth it to make your shards more useful. Try it when you get the chance. I think I will. Also, neither one of us has been eating well. No wonder, considering the struggle we've been through to survive. If you bring me the ingredients, I can use alchemy to prepare meals for us. With proper nutrition and a varied diet, you have the potential to get much stronger. Welcome. Since this is your first time here, let me tell you a little bit about the supply post. Uh, please. I have made arrangements so you can buy and sell items here. I would have liked to provide what you need for free, but seeing as we are largely cut off from the church's funds out here, I will need money in order to keep the supply post stocked. I hope you don't mind paying. No, I understand. I appreciate you doing what you can. I can also buy shards from you, if you no longer need them. Wait, is trade in demon shards even allowed? Of course. The church would sooner gather them up and make certain they are purified. I am not permitted to sell them, but I can buy them off you. You may want to keep extras, since possessing multiple shards of the same type amplifies its power, but there is a limit to how far that can go. And more importantly, if you carry a large number of shards, your body's corruption may accelerate. But I'll find a way to deal with that myself. I still recommend selling your shards as a means of making money. All right, I know you're looking out for me. I think that explains everything. Now, would you like to have a look around? 
What are you looking to buy? What are you looking to buy? What are you looking to sell? What are you looking to sell? Is this right? Thank you. Oh, I forgot to give this to you. It's the key to the building. You can use it to explore further in. Thank you. I invited the other survivors inside where it's safe. They all have troubles that need resolving, if you can spare them the time. I'll do what I can. I know you will. Come back any time. I'll be praying for you. Oh, I still owe you my life. <sighs> Dominique, what is all this machinery? That is photographic equipment we've been working on. Photographic? To put it more plainly, it allows me to capture images of real life, landscapes, people. What? Really? Uh, can I try it? Unfortunately, I don't have the silver bromide I need. I'll see if I can find it. Be right back.
should have stayed out of this. You have a lot to explain for. After all the terrible things you've done? All that is in the past. I'll not be defending my actions to you. Don't I deserve it? You were like a father to me. Enough, child. I am here for the book. Jeebel has the book. What are you talking about? If you don't already know, then let us keep it that way. Alfred, how are you still alive? Ugh, what were you thinking and coming here? You can answer my question first. All that matters is that I am alive. Did you come here for the book? Book? The Liber Logiath? Make no mistake. I won't let anyone touch that tome but me. Not even you should touch it. Didn't what happened ten years ago teach you anything? I don't have time to argue with you. I just hope you are wise enough not to get in my way. <laughs> you know full well my power exceeds yours. Take Miriam and leave this place. Otherwise, you will die. I came here because something didn't feel right. But I didn't expect him. Johannes, what is the Lee below Gaiath? It's... It's a book the Alchemy Guild once possessed that allows for the summoning of spirits. The Guild used it to bring about the Calamity ten years ago. And the Shardbinder's crystal acted as a kind of catalyst. A book like that shouldn't even exist. I know. Alfred must be trying to restore the Alchemy Guild to power. But we cannot let him lay hands on the Liber Logiath. He said Cheeple had it. You know, I think I might have seen it. It makes sense, considering the situation we're in. He must have gotten his hands on it after surviving the sacrifice. So now I have to stop Alfred, too. No, let's focus on Jeebel. If we can get to him and the book before Alfred does, we'll kill two birds with one stone. Good point. All right. Dominique might know what to do about Alfred in the meantime. I'll head back to the village and see what she has to say.
you are. That ghastly air about you. You reek of sorcery, Shardbinder. Ah. And what am I to make of you? Me? I am your executioner. Foolishness. Ah! 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 
At once, Zangetsu. Ah, here we go. How many times do I have to tell you? Our enemies are the demons and those in league with them. And I say, what is the difference? The alchemists were the gunmen, the shardbinders the gun. All must be dismantled. In the case of the alchemists, you are right. They coveted the powers of hell and must pay for it. But Miriam is not like them. She is fighting for us, at great personal risk. Really? You forget how many of our friends perished for similarly misplacing their faith. And do I look as weak? Look closer. <laughs> I was bored with her anyway. Do your job, Zangetsu. You need to put a stop to Alfred. And I will. But you listen to me, Shardbinder. If you value your life, then stay out of my sight. You can hold me to my word, Dominique. But don't presume to tell me what else I can or cannot do. I apologize for my acquaintance. He had no right to speak to you like that. Pay it no mind. I've been through worse. I want you to know that I trust you, Miriam. And nothing anyone says could ever sway that trust. Ah, oh, well, you have my thanks. It's nice to know that I have someone on my side. Zangetsu is a demon hunter from a land far to the east, in the tumult of a decade ago. Perhaps even longer. Demons robbed him of everything precious to him, and he's despised everything to do with them since. His strength, however, is second to none. I saw it for myself. I could tell he was holding back, but he was a handful regardless. Maybe it was a lack of conviction that dulled his blade. Well, I'll be off then. I mustn't leave Anne alone for too long. is covered with weird decorations. Uh, yes, but these are... These are all the rage in Paris. Oh, Paris. Wow, I've never been to Spain. Uh, the name's Benjamin. Uh, I'm Miriam. 
Benjamin, you shouldn't be here. I know, I know. But I'm so scared I can't even stand up. Damn. I just want to go home. Hmm. Do I have any items that could help get him home? What, what do I do with this? Ugh, I was hoping you might know. Damn. I just want to go home. Hmm. Do I... This... This will help me escape? Yes. Picture your house. And don't let go of that thought. All right, all right, I'll try it. I think it worked. Oh, oh, oh.